with a new geeky DIY project for you guys. If that sounds awesome, hit that subscribe button down below to join our nerd DIY family. I have been super excited for Birds of Prey, the fantabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn to come out and I finally saw it and it was so good. And I was so inspired by Harley Quinn's outfits that I just had to make one. So today we're going to be making Harley Quinn's caution tape jacket with all the awesome caution tape sleeves and the fun little sparkly do's underneath. It's going to be super cute and I'm so excited to show you guys how to make it and the best part about this is this is going to be a no sew project. It's going to be super easy. All you need is your hot glue gun and the supplies that I'm going to let you know about that you can just get from Amazon. All right let's get a little bit nerdy and start this project. We're going to start this jacket out with a raincoat that I grabbed off of Amazon that had the same material as Harley Quinn's jacket. It was pretty cheap. I think it was like $12, something like that. I'll put a link down to it down below. We're going to have to make a few adjustments on it, but other than that, it's pretty perfect. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cut off the bottom part of this jacket because it's just a little too long. I measured mine to my body and it was about 11 inches that I needed to cut off. You can just check yours and see if you want the length to be longer or shorter. Then what I did is I measured 11 inches from the bottom and I made tick marks with a sharpie about one inch apart from each other so that I could draw a line to cut later. You're going to want to do this on the whole bottom part of the jacket the left and right front and the back as well. And I just did this by drawing a line all the way around and then cutting it with scissors. The cool part about this is that there's no sewing needed because this material is pretty much just plastic and it doesn't fray or rip or anything like that. So it's perfect just to keep it cut the way it is. Thank goodness. Next, we're gonna cut off some of the extra embellishments that the jacket has. Um, it came with a hood, but Harley Quinn's jacket doesn't have a hood, so we're gonna cut this hood off. I recommend just cutting as close to the black trim as you can, and then you won't be able to tell at all that we cut the hood off. It'll look like it wasn't even there in the first place. Next, what you're gonna do is this jacket had two strings coming down in the front, and we're just gonna snip those off as close as we can to the trim, that way it looks like they've never been there before. Now it's time for the fun part. We get to roll out our caution tape. I just got this caution tape off of Amazon. I'll put a link down below so you guys can buy it from there. The first thing we wanna do with our caution tape is we wanna measure out a 12 inch piece. This is gonna act as our template for the rest of the caution tape that we're gonna cut out. So all you have to do is roll out your caution tape and place our template on top and then cut off the excess. I first did this with scissors, but then I found I was gonna need a lot more pieces of caution tape, so I just stacked it all on top of each other and used my X-Acto knife, and I could cut out a lot more at one time. You're gonna wanna cut out, and I know this sounds like a lot, but you're gonna wanna cut out 120 of these. I used about 60 of these per sleeve, to give it that nice bulky look. You can use more or less depending on how you want the sleeves to look. Next, we're going to grab, and I know this sounds like way out of the box, we're gonna have a tinsel photo background that I got off of Amazon. It was the perfect color and the right material for this jacket, and it's gonna work perfect. I know it's a little out of the ordinary, but hey, it's kind of fun. I think Harley Quinn would totally love it. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna lay your background out flat and cut it into 12 inch long strips. I first tried to cut this with my X-Acto knife and it just did not work. So I moved on to scissors and it wasn't the exact 12 inches I had hoped for, but I thought that that would make it a little more fun and flirty if all of them weren't the exact same length. Now you're going to take a piece of your caution tape and place it face side down and you're going to take a metal ruler and an X-Acto knife and about one inch down from the top, you're gonna cut the caution tape into half inch strips. And this should give you kind of a cool like 
flowiness to the caution tape. After you're done cutting the strips, you're gonna take one piece of tinsel at a time and you're gonna put it half an inch down from the top of the caution tape. And you can just take any colors that you want. I usually just pick to them at random and just put them in as close to each other as possible. Um, you can have two colors next to each other if you want. It's just gonna be kind of haphazard. You could do this where you have a pattern of colors that you want, but I was more haphazard with it because I thought that's how Harley Quinn would do it. So you're just gonna lay these all out across your caution tape until you reach the end. Now it's time for some hot glue. So I want to stress this as much as I can. If you can get a hot glue gun that has a temperature setting on it, do get it because it is very important in this project that you have your hot glue gun on a low setting. Otherwise you are gonna burn your fingers a lot. So what you're gonna wanna do is put some hot glue right over the top of the tinsel pieces that you have on your caution tape and then fold over the top of the caution tape so that you can glue the top to the tinsel. I hope that makes sense. I know that you guys can see it and understand what I'm saying. We're just folding it over and gluing it in. What this does is it makes sure that the tinsel doesn't come undone because if we just glue the tinsel to the jacket, it would just fall right off because the tinsel doesn't stick with the hot glue very well. But because we have our caution tape that it does stick to well, we're gonna keep it all nestled in there. And then there you have one of your awesome caution tape pieces. You're gonna keep doing this until you have all 120 of these finished. I know it's gonna take a long time, believe me, but it's worth it. So now it's time to connect our caution tape pieces to our jacket. So you're just gonna start out with one sleeve at a time and at the very bottom of one of the sleeves, you're gonna put some hot glue on low, otherwise it is going to melt the jacket. Make sure it is on the low setting. And then you're just going to place your caution tape piece right on top of that hot glue and let it dry. So you're gonna want the caution tape to go all the way around the entire sleeve. So all I did next was put on some more hot glue and glued the next piece of caution tape right next to the one we already had. And you'll just continue this until you've gone all the way around the sleeve and reached back to your original caution tape piece. Now we're gonna move on to the second row. We're gonna take another piece of caution tape and we're going to glue it about one inch above our original caution tape piece that we made. And once you have that glued on, you're just gonna follow around the rest of the sleeve like you did for the first pieces of caution tape. Then after that, you're gonna start another row, one inch above that row, continue around the whole sleeve, and then just do that all the way up until you reach the top of the sleeve. One thing that I found really helpful while doing this was that I just put my arm down the sleeve and I used my hand on the back to kind of push up the glue and hold it together so that it adhered to the plastic vinyl a little bit better. It also made it possible so that the vinyl wouldn't like melt onto the other side of the sleeve. And so that way we didn't have pieces of, of the sleeve sticking to each other and you could still get your arm through. And it made it a lot easier that way. And it made it easier to keep a straight line around the sleeve as well. And now it's time to put on the final pieces of caution tape. What you're gonna do first is you're going to flip the lining that's on the shoulders of the sleeve over so that you can put the caution tape underneath of it and glue that in. And then we'll flip it back over once all of the glue has dried and it will look very seamless. So you just put the glue on as normal against the edging and then you'll glue that on and hold it together with your hand and then you'll follow that all the way around the top of the sleeve. I did put in another layer than you see here because some of the pieces were kind of showing through and the shoulder just needed a little bit of extra oomph to make it a little more full. So feel free to add in more pieces of caution tape than I've done here if you feel like you need more fullness. 
Then just flip the edging back over the top of your caution tape and it will stick down and look really nice as if there's no hot glue or seams involved. It looks really nice and polished. And we're done with our first sleeve. So what you wanna do next is do the exact same thing again on the other sleeve and make it match up as much as possible. That way they are at the same length and they look pretty much the same fullness. Now what we wanna do is we want to cut off some of the bottom layers on our sleeves so that they don't cover up our hands. So in Harley Quinn's, you can see the tips of her fingertips. And right now we have about 12 inches of caution tape that are covering up all of our hands. So for each person, this is gonna be a little bit different depending how long your arms are. I originally cut these at three inches and then I moved it to two inches. Um, so that's gonna change um, based on what your hand size is, how long your arms are. So make sure that you measure it out yourself on your own body. So what I did here is I pulled all of the top caution tapes back and I'm just working on the very first layer that we did. And I'm cutting it to two inches. I think I did it three here, but I ended up having to cut it down to two inches later. And the two inches is from the bottom of the jacket. So I take my ruler at the two inch mark and I cut it off with my X-Acto knife. And it doesn't have to be perfectly straight because we don't want this to be perfect because Harley Quinn is not perfect and we don't want it to be exactly straight. So we want some little bits that kind of hang out and around that are a little bit different. After we've done the first layer, we're gonna flip the next layer on top and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna measure two inches from the bottom of the jacket and use our X-Acto knife to cut off the extra pieces. The cool thing about these extra pieces is that if you wanted to add a little bit more um, umph inside the sleeves where there might not be some caution tape, you can just glue those on in there and fill it in um, how you would like. Then you're gonna do this again with the next layer and the next layer after that until you get to a point where the layers are shorter than the two inches that you've cut off. And then the sleeve will be at the right length so you can still use your jacket and see your hands and be able to do all the normal human things. Um, and it will still look really nice and full. So you'll wanna do this on the other sleeve as well. And then you're pretty much on your way done with this jacket. The last finishing touches that I wanted to do is that this jacket has some interesting flaps around the shoulders, the front shoulders. And so I decided just to cut these off because they weren't really adding anything to the jacket and it didn't really look like Harley Quinn had anything like this on her jacket. So I just took my scissors and I cut it off around the lining like we did um, with the hood. There were also some um, buttons that were on the front so I just cut around those as close as I could to get off any of the extra vinyl that was left. Then to give it that moto jacket look, I took the two sides and I kind of folded them over in a V shape. So there's about a few buttons that go down the front of this and I folded it over into a V shape down to the third button. And I did that with both sides of the front of the jacket and then all I did was hot glue them on. So this is the time when it's okay for it to be stuck to the other side because that's what we want. And the best part is that the hot glue is gonna dry pretty clear so you probably won't even be able to tell that it's there. I did try and get it as close to the edging as I can so you couldn't see the hot glue. And then now you have your awesome Harley Quinn jacket and it looks so cute. I love it so, so much. I cannot stop wearing it. It is so fun. I hope you guys 
like this project. I had such fun making this jacket that I decided to make the entire cosplay. I'll be posting pictures of that from Emerald City Comic Con on my Instagram later on next month. So be looking out for those. And I just, I can't get over this. Like how fun, like can you hear that? I have such a blast wearing this jacket. It is so cute. I kind of just want to wear it all over the place. <laughs> If you guys do end up making this project, don't forget to tag me in your photos on Twitter and Instagram. I love seeing what you guys end up making. I'll see you guys next week for another DIY project where we get crafty and nerd out.